Welcome to our channel, Taxidermy 101. Today I'm going to be showing you how to skin a rabbit for taxidermy. So we're going to be including the paws, um, the lips, the nose, the eyelids, the ears, everything on this rabbit with fur on it is going to be going on your mount, obviously. So we're going to show you how to skin it properly for that. And this will pretty much work for any mammal uh, with fur, um, coyotes, it'll even like cats, any of your predators. Um, gophers, squirrels, it'll pretty much be the same technique. So for today everything. we have um, a domestic rabbit here. It was a meat rabbit, and so I'm going to keep the fur off of it. Um, so I'm going to show you where to key, start your initial incisions. Today all I'm going to be using is my knife and my scissors, probably. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my incision coming from the inside of the leg, going across and then into right to the next inside of the leg. I'm going to come up the belly, down the center, and then I'm going to come on the inside of the front leg and go across and meet up that that incision. So we're going to have three main incisions. One is going to come... So I'm just going to put my blade underneath the skin and run it up. Okay, so we got our main incision on the back legs done. I just peeled the skin back so you guys could see. We went from about the center of the back leg to the center of the back leg here. Just went straight across. Now I'm gonna run my blade up into the chest and then we're gonna kinda of do a Y incision going up the legs. And that is gonna be all of our incisions that we're gonna be doing today. If you're doing a mount that is gonna be like standing or somehow that the back is gonna to be to the wall, then what you wanna do is on your rabbit or whatever you're doing, just make your incision along the back and it's going to be a little more tricky because you have less space to work with and you have to get your hands all around in the back legs and front legs and stuff but you want to make your incision down the back and that's the only incision that you're going to make and then you skin it from there pretty much the same way you'd be skinning it from here just the opposite and this is the easiest way to do it for taxidermy and the most common because most mounts the bellies are down like they're standing or walking or whatever so anyway I'll show you how to do the main the rest of the incisions here show you what it looks like. Um, I cut up the belly and then across the back legs here, both of them, <laughs> and then I went from across the front legs. So now if we just grab the skin on the edges of our incisions here and pull, we can just peel that right off. So I'm going to pull on my back legs here. I'm just going to work my fingers in behind it. So I did pop the belly right there, or cut through it, and I don't want to mess with that much. And I'm going to use my knife as little as possible in here, because that means less holes. So most of the time, I'm just working my fingers in alongside the skin. And with a rabbit, their skin is really tough. Or a domestic rabbit, I should not say that. I about wild rabbits, because they have really weak skin. In the fatty areas, just use your blade and cut through. And it'll take a little practice before you know exactly where to cut. I actually just finished skinning a coyote today, which explains why my knife was a little bit bloody before this. But so I'm just working my fingers around the leg there, and I'm gonna pull it down. On the feet, you will rip the feet right off if you're not careful, and you do not want to do that. So. Just be careful, take your time, don't need to rush. 
if you don't have time to skin an animal properly before you have to go somewhere or someplace, but it really needs skin, then just throw it in the freezer and you can skin it tomorrow. But if you're gonna keep it in there for a few days, make sure you put it in a bag and seal it so that it doesn't dry out. This rabbit I just threw in the freezer overnight, which is why he's a little bit frozen today. So I'm just working my hands around the legs, pushing my thumb through, and then I'm gonna pull up on the skin. So, I'm almost gone around this rabbit. I'm going to see if I can get, once you get your hands in around the back, then you're pretty safe to pull up around the whole thing. All right, so now my hand's underneath him, and there's my fingers on the other side of that membrane, and I'm just gonna pull through, and then I'm gonna pull it apart. Just like that, and that's all loose from the body now. So now we're gonna focus our attention more to the back. All right, so I'm gonna work my hands around this leg quickly. my finger and I'm just pulling it out there's a lot of fur on here so it kind of makes it hard to see exactly what I'm doing there we go all right so we've got both of our legs are free from the skin now and we are just attached by the tail so we're gonna skin down to our tail um, this was a male rabbit so you're gonna get to see how to do that or some of it anyway so now I'm gonna be using my knife and I'm just going to be very careful because the skin here is thin and I'm just gonna peel it back and pull all of that nasty stuff out. <laughs> so I'm just being really careful around here. Uh, once you get to where you know you're gonna have to cut through, then what I'm gonna do is be careful that your skin is not in the way and then just cut straight down. Very careful. We're gonna cut straight down until we reach our tail. And that is our tail right there. All right. Now, I'm going to roll my rabbit over and pull my skin all the way down to that tail. All right. All right, now, put him back on his back, pull our fur out of the way, and I'm going to put it around here. And then I'm going to brace my hands against the rabbit, just like that. That did not work. <laughs> okay, his tail's still in there. I'm going to extend my incision just a little bit to where the foot bends, just like that. Pull the skin down to that incision, or to the end of that incision. And then right there, I'm going to cut it. And I will show you in my fleshing video, that will be part two of this rabbit video. I will show you how all to right. remove that foot. We've got our legs severed, and this is where we just, we actually worked all this off before, and I'm just gonna put carcass on one side, and this is the easy part, pulling the skin up. That's our shoulder blades, and I'm gonna pull the skin right up to our front legs. Our front legs are gonna come off, and I'm gonna show you that also in the next video. How to remove the little paws, because in taxidermy, you have to get it down to the last knuckle, or the first knuckle on the toes, always, which is a longer process. And that'll be part of our flushing video. So I've got some meat here. I'm just gonna cut it right off. And then our little chest fuzz right here, where I left our incision at. I'm just gonna pull all that up. I'm trying to keep as much fat on the rabbit as I can without wrecking it and staying clear of holes in the hide. All right, work our fingers through this leg, pull it up. There we go, cut that. All right, now we just have the head left. And before we get too far in that, I'm going to show you, this will go for any mammal that you do. Um, All right, so do. we're gonna go Right next, right along our teeth, a rabbit is a very small-mouthed animal, so it's gonna be hard to show this all to you guys, but we're gonna start right up alongside our teeth, and because we need this, this skin right here to tuck into our mount, we are gonna just go right along the teeth, and we're just gonna cut the skin that comes up along the gums. 
and you gotta go in the mouth. This is where you guys aren't gonna be able to see. I'm mostly just feeling, I've got my other finger on the back, and I'm feeling my way through the inside of the mouth here. I'm coming up, and I'm just gonna go right up along the gums here. And I'm gonna go in, kind of into the cheek a little bit, I cut that, and this is just gonna make it so much easier when we skin the head out, which you will see, because we'll know exactly where our cuts are. So I'm just slicing right along the teeth, really carefully, not to cut to the lip on the other side. All right, so now we've got our lips skinned out. We basically just pulled it back, skinned it out, so now when we pull our head skin over, we're gonna know exactly where those cuts are. So now, for the last part of skinning our rabbit, we are gonna do the head. Pull all our fur up here. All these little meat pieces, I'm just gonna cut through so that they are off of our skin, make flushing easier later. So I'm just gonna go around. I'm just cutting through that membrane, pulling the skin up, cutting through the membrane, till we get to our ears. So I'm gonna work over these shoulders, pull it up, work over the membrane. We're kind of to a tighter spot now. We've gotten to up our neck and then it gets really wide at the head. So all I'm doing is I'm using my fingernails and I'm just kind of pulling that skin up and over and we're stretching it out as we go. And anytime I think there's a little bit of membrane stopping us, I'm just gonna go with my knife and cut through that. So I'm just carefully working my way around the head. I can feel the ears on the other side of the skin and we're getting close to them. And in taxidermy, when you're skinning, anytime you're skinning anything for taxidermy, it's important to keep the ear canal um, as far into the head as you can because you can always trim some off, but you can never make it grow back. So we're going to find our ear canal. These are the base of our ears. I don't know if you can see it kind of turns red there. That's the base of our ear. And this is on this side. So I'm going to see if I can get it up just a little more for you guys so that it's easier for you to see. Just working it up with my fingernails, working with the bottom chin here. That's where it's the tightest right now, is right down here. All right, so our ears are here. I can feel them. It's always very important to feel them on your head. And I'm going to peel that skin up. So there's our ear. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go right at the base where I think it ends here. And I'm just gonna go straight down towards the skull till I hit that ear canal. That's all me. Okay, I'm gonna go a little higher up. Cut straight down. The ear canal is usually pretty low. All right, I can see the base of it. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see on video. So I'm just gonna work this back a little more. There we go. All right, here's our ear. Right here, I'm pinching it and I'm just gonna cut straight down in towards the skull until I hit that ear canal, which is right there, if you guys can see it. It's that little hole there, and I'm gonna take, on the edge of it, I'm gonna go around it and take the meat off. So because I went straight down to the skull, I've got a lot of meat around it. I'm gonna kinda go underneath it, I'm peeling it up with my finger, and cutting around it till I join up with skin again. All right, so that's all skin now. So that basically, this little ear canal, just being part of our skin. All right, so we're coming to our eye now, you can just kinda see the corner of it. Very important that we get our eyelid. And this is the trickiest part for most people, is when you get to the eye and not getting your eyelid all the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna skin kinda up here. That's our inner eyelid that's coming over the eye. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna grab our eyelid here, you can see where the skin ends, and I'm gonna pull up, and I'm gonna just cut straight down towards the eye. And that is the inner eyelid that I just cut through. So that's what we're gonna be tucking when we mount our eye. So now I've got my finger in the eyelid. That was really, so I got Whoa! my finger in his eyelid, and I'm just pulling it tight when I skin. This is the tear duct, it's really close to the skull. And so you wanna keep your blade always pointed straight towards the skull when you're doing this. And I'm just pulling and skinning and pulling and skinning. And that is our eyelid. So now we've got our full eyelid there. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. You guys can watch again. There's our eye. Coming up to it. I'm pinching and pulling. And there, didn't leave quite as much eyelid in that one, or inner eyelid. I'm pulling and I'm skinning, blade straight towards the skull. And there we have both of our eyelids, perfect. So now because we skin the inside of our mouth, we're just gonna skin down here until we reach 
the hole that we skinned in. I'm just grabbing my skin and pulling it tight all the way around. And there's a hole right there. That's where we skinned the inside of our mouth. So here we're at our mouth now, and I'm just kind of coming. So that's where we skin inside. This is our mouth. Those are our teeth. This is going to be our nose up here. So on the nose, actually, okay, we'll finish this side first. So I'm pulling, skinning down till we reach the hole in there that I skinned in. And there we are. Okay. So now on our nose, because we reached our cartilage, you're just because we want that whole nose on there and we'll flush it later, we're just going to cut straight down into the cartilage and come out against our teeth. So we'll still have all of that gum in there to tuck when we're done because we skinned the inside of our mouth before. There we go. And our chin. And there is our final skinning job. When we do our flushing video, I'm gonna show you how to turn the ears, turn the eyes, remove the nose cartilage, turn the lips, and remove the paws. So now we have a fluffy and fuzzy little rabbit skin, and it's got all of what we need to mount it. So we've got our eyelids, see? Our nose, our mouth, our ears, everything we've got. So we've got our nice rabbit pelt. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some salt on it because I do not have time to flush it right now. I'm just gonna put some salt all over the hide, um, in the paws, I'm gonna kinda tuck it in there, and I'm gonna fold it, skin to skin, fur to fur, and ball it all up and throw it in the freezer. So until next time, I will show you guys how to flush. Thanks for watching. Really? Stop it. Ben.